What's up YouTubers and Joe fans, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the newly released G.I. Joe Stalker from the Retro line. I swung by my local Walmart and wouldn't you know, I found them. Thanks for uh, dropping in Stalker. So if you're on the hunt for this new Stalker figure, run out and check your local Walmart. You just might luck out. Let's take a look at the card art on the front of the packaging. I'll go ahead and bring up the 1982 card art so we can do some comparisons. Right off the bat, I can notice Lonzo Stalker Wilkinson underneath the G.I. Joe logo, whereas on the original, they used to say, a real American hero. Now, all these new retro releases have really large card backs and really large bubbles in the front. A lot of wasted room here, if you ask me. But if you take a look inside the bubble, you can actually see his pulverizer rifle right there. A stand in the back, a knife, a pistol, and another gun. Now when I flip it around, it kind of makes sense as to why they use such an oversized card. On the bottom there's all sorts of information. In the center there's some previously released figures and up at the top, here's the file card. And if you want to pause it to take a look at that, you can. And you can compare it to the original. Now if you look at the top, the bio for Stalker is really tiny as opposed to the original. But it's also written in multiple languages. And like I said earlier, all sorts of information on the bottom. Let's go ahead and turn them around and open them up and check him out. Now with everything out of the package, let's go ahead and take a look and see what he comes with. Right here he comes with the G.I. Joe stand. I can pick this up. And it has the word Sergeant Stalker on the front. Two foot pegs and G.I. Joe embossed on the top. He also comes with this pistol. This has some really nice detail on it. On both sides, of course. Now, I'm not sure if this is an M9 or not, or something to that effect. He also comes with this small knife. And it has a silver blade. And it's actually serrated on the knife edge with a black handle. And this actually fits in his sheath on the front of the figure. He comes with this gun. Now this is really pliable, so it looks like you got a little bent in the package. Just have to heat that up to straighten it out if I need to. Now when I took everything out of the package, I have to tell you I was absolutely excited. He finally, finally came with his pulverizer rifle. This is the first modern stalker figure that actually included the correct rifle in this uniform. Each G.I. Joe figure is not only known for their uniform but the weapon they carry and this thing looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get this in his hand and see how he holds it. And now for the star of the show, Stalker himself. Let's bring him into the camera and get a closer look. Right out of the gate I can tell you he looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the face sculpt. He looks a lot older and a lot more grizzled and battle-worn. His uniform is fantastic. He's carrying over all his OG colors. I absolutely love the web gear. And this is kind of a callback to the original. And what I mean by that is on the front right here is a loop for the knife. And the original Starker had a knife on his chest. On the side here, he actually has a holster, but unfortunately the original didn't have that, but that's okay. Let's see if the pistol fits in this. Yep, fits in there nice and snug. No fear of that dropping out. And I just noticed the grenade on the right side of the web gear, which is a callback to the original. Now, a couple things to note. Hasbro finally changed up the construction of their figures. Now the plastic is fantastic. It's not gummy at all. He has a pocket up here on his left shoulder and a pocket down on his left thigh. Come around the back, there's a canteen right here. Great detail back here. His black boots. Come around to this side, you can get a better look at the holster. And back around to the front. It's really nice to actually have an updated stalker in this uniform that's not scrawny and looks a little bulked up. 
Now, before I go over the articulation of Stalker, I do want to point out some of the key changes that they actually made on this particular mold. And it's really nice that Hasbro finally stepped up, changed their recipe, and added some new features to this figure. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at, of course, is his head, and he can move left and right. And this is on a ball joint, so he can look up this far and down that far. Now, he does have a cut right here, right below his chest, so he can rotate in this direction. And it's not hindered with his web gear. Now, coming down to the waist, if you can believe it, he can actually rotate right there. And there's a cut right there. So this is a brand new feature in articulation point. So that's two points of articulation on the upper body. Now coming up to the shoulder, his arm rotates 360 degrees. His shoulder can go up this far. Now his elbow can rotate 360 degrees. And it bends just beyond 90 degrees. Now coming down to the wrist, if you can believe it, this rotates 360 degrees and there's an actual joint here so he can move his wrist up and down just like this now looking at the other hand he has the same style joint right there so it doesn't go in and out but it goes up and down and you'll notice his trigger finger right here one thing to note, the hands are a little soft. They're pliable, so great thing is there's no fear of breaking them. Let's look at his waist. Now he can actually do the splits all the way. Let me get the whole straw out of the way. Perfect splits. Now this is where it gets exciting, guys. Right here, they actually added a thigh cut. So this rotates 360 degrees if needed. And, if you note, coming down to the knees here, they're hidden pins. So it's pinless. And of course this is double jointed. Really great range of motion in his knees. Another thing to note, which is brand new, is right here there's a boot cut. This actually rotates 360 degrees. Finally. And coming down on the foot, he can point his toe down really far. He can point it up this far. There's a little gap in here, but that's due to the rocker ankle. Now you can actually get this stalker into some really dynamic poses. I'm really happy to say that Hasbro has finally taken the leap of faith and added some brand new articulation to this figure. Let's put all this to the test and see how he holds his weapons. Go for it! The first weapon we'll try is his pistol. As you can see, his finger is on the trigger. I have the left hand trying to cradle the pistol. Uh, it's, it's okay, but I think the web gear is getting in the way a little bit. But he can hold this thing, and he's holding on to it tight enough where he's not going to drop it. I don't think he'll have any problem knocking down some Cobra targets. Now this is the stalker figure I've been waiting for. He's finally holding his pulverizer rifle. He's got both hands on this gun, his finger is on the trigger, he's supporting the front, and he's aiming down this thing like a champ. Now this looks like the official stalker that I grew up with, and he's not going to drop this thing either. Next for his smallest weapon is a knife. And I put that in his left hand. Zero issue getting that in there. And he's holding on to this nice and tight. No fear of that falling out. And he looks like he's uh, officially going to sneak up behind a cobra and take care of business. Lastly, for his final weapon, I went ahead and left the knife in his left hand. Put this smaller rifle in his right hand. And his finger is on the trigger. He's dueling two weapons. And he's absolutely living up to the motto... Rangers lead the way. You were saying. Now, 
before we wrap up this video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring in some of my other stalkers I have in my collection to match up or compare with this newer version. Let's bring in the one that started it all. The 1982 straight arm stalker figure. And here you can see they both are carrying the pulverizer rifle. Let me bring them in close so we can take a better look. They did him right by giving him the knife on the left side of his chest, the grenade on the right side of his chest, plus the green beret on his head. You turn him to the side. You can see that the original has a pocket on his left shoulder and pocket on his left leg. Right there and there. Let's turn him to the back. Now, of course, the web gear is different. It's more updated on the new one. And I thought this was a really good callback to the original figure. Now, I know that they've released over 20 different stalker figures, but I want to concentrate on the ones that look like him in this uniform. Let's slide these guys over out of the way a little bit and get them centered up. And we'll grab in the 2007 25th anniversary stalker and now you can see what he looks like compared to these two again this was a great callback to the original now let me go ahead and slide the vintage one back a little bit and we'll bring in another stalker figure the version 10 2008 25th anniversary figure now he came with the actual DVD set and you can see his camo is a little lighter and for the final figure, we're bringing the version 11 2008 Stalker figure. And he actually came with the Ultimate Battle Pack. And you can see the drastic difference on this last one. He's a lot darker, has a darker camo with a black uh, beret on the top of his head. And the final thing to note, they're all carrying the wrong weapon with the exception of the new release. Well, with this new Stalker figure in my collection, I wonder what he would look like with the modern OG team. But the President and the Joint Chiefs have just ordered me to assemble the entire G.I. Joe force. Well, you heard the man. Here's the brand new retro line Stalker figure with the OG modern figures I have in my collection. If you ask me, he fits in there pretty well. If you're looking to add him to your collection, you have to get him at Walmart. Unfortunately, he is an exclusive. This has been my look at the brand new 2021 Retro Series Stalker figure from G.I. Joe. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, join the community and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to help a fellow collector out and share your knowledge. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!